Hello guys, it is DLC Pur and welcome to another episode of Recreating Famous YouTube Buildings. Today is part 3 of building Stampy's Rubik's Cube. And uh, yeah, this is probably going to be the worst Recreating Famous YouTube Buildings I'm going to do ever. Uh, yeah, why? Well, because we're going to make this over here. Look at it, it is so complicated. And um, yeah, you know what? Let's just go straight into that tutorial. Uh, I will see uh, if it is going to be easy or not. It looks very complicated, maybe it's easier as it looks. I'm not too sure because I've never done this tutorial before, of course. So yeah, let's first kill this pig. I'm sorry, my brother. And uh, yeah, then get started. So let me clear my inventory. Uh, as you can see, it's it's pretty smart. Uh, yeah, to make those uh, colors over here, which basically show you exactly uh, which colors on the wall it will be. As you can see over here is a green wall, which means that over here uh, is yeah this little green uh, thing over here. Just so you can see where exactly all these uh, yeah, blocks are. So, let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is actually really easy. Just what you gotta do is you go to these corners. And as you can see, there's a huge tube. Which goes all the way to the top. Really dark. And uh, yeah, right beneath that tube you gotta place um, yeah, a, a wooden uh, pressure plate. Also on this one. Make sure to do the ones in the corners and not these ones. Which go into the boxes. Because that's something totally different. So let's go to the next one, so here, and then to the last one, and then it's time for the redstone. So uh, let's go to this corner over here, which is in the red and yellow corner, over here there's the entry. So uh, yeah, the blocks we will be needing are um, of course some redstone, <laughs> some redstone repeaters, uh, some black wool, <coughs> or any type of block, doesn't really matter, but uh, yeah, let's just use white wool, I think it's a bit easier to see. Um, well, if you're working anyway, why not get a chisel quartz block? That block looks really expensive. <laughs> and I'm creative anyways, but yeah, you can choose any block you want. Um, we also need a few torches. A few redstone torches as well. Really important. Um, I think it's okay for now. So, let's get started. First thing we do is we place a redstone repeater right over here. Uh, then three pieces of redstone going that way. And then like this. Like so. Um, then we place a repeater over here. Make sure it faces towards that and uh, not towards that. So we place it over here. And then you make a redstone throw which goes all the way to that button over there. And if it's right it will... Oh, wait a minute. I missed the block. There we go. It will activate the repeater. There we go. That's nice. Then we go to this little um, thing over here, and we do the exact same thing, but then mirrored. So we place a repeater over there, three pieces of redstone that way, and that way. And then we go all the way to this button. So as you can see, it's uh, yeah the same. Uh, then we make these connecting to each other, like so. I believe it should work. Yes, there we go, that's right. Okay, um, yeah, no explaining is needed, what, what everything uh, does and stuff. I don't think that's even important. As soon as we just do um, what we have to do, it will be right. All right. So, um, then we go one, two, three, four, five blocks away from that one, which is at the yellow and green side corner. I will place a repeater over there, as you can see. Uh, that repeater goes three blocks this way and then two that way or one no it's actually one like that and then that's all right so what we do then uh, now comes the hard part stuff over here um let me check so we go from here one two three four five blocks away from that and we place two pieces of redstone like so and then oh man this is going to Okay, then we place one, two, three, four uh, repeaters over there, and one, two, three, four over there. Make sure they're exactly like this, and not, for example, turn around because then you get a big problem, then it won't work. So, uh, yeah, like that. Um, by the way, I can just show you if it works, it will go like that, and if it doesn't, it won't, of course. Uh, and then we just press all of these uh, triggers all the way to the back. It's not a big problem if you miss one, but yeah, it's it's just going to give you more time uh, when it works. I will show you in a minute. 
because this is a little bit different from Stampy's video, like I already explained in episode 1. Uh, in total, if you press it on, you will have around 8 to 10 seconds to go into your, um, yeah, to in your box. Let me just show it you. So there we go, it's now on. You can count for yourself if you want. I believe it's around 8, uh, eight seconds. There you go. And there we go, ready? Okay, that was a pretty quick one. Which I believe it's almost, uh, yeah, as much time as you have on Stampy's game itself. So that's nice, of course. And that time, uh, yeah, it depends all on these triggers. So if you pull them all the way back, it will give you more time. Uh, if you don't, yeah, it will just not give you enough time, I think. So then we place some redstone over here. Two, um, yeah, two quartz blocks, or whatever block you take. Let's just say, yeah, let's just say we place two blocks over there. Not, not any, any type of block, just a block. So over there we place a redstone repeater. Then we place um, four blocks like this. One over there, then one over there, and two over there, I believe. Is that right? No, it isn't. Like that, there we go, that's better. Fill this up as well. Oh man, yeah, there we go. Then we also gotta place a block over there, and over there, floating in the air, as you can see. Um, we get two repeaters, place them over there, pull them all the way back. There, all the way back. Over there as well, all the way back. Then some redstone over there and over there, as well as over here. Um, wait a second. Yeah, like so. All the way to there, and as you can see, this is not what you want. So we place a repeater over there, like so. Oh, and as you can see, this is also not exactly how it should go. Over here, we also place two blocks. So if it's right. This whole signal will go all the way to here, then to here, and in the end it will end up over there. So after we've done that, we place redstone over here, a block over there, and a torch over there. Redstone torch, make sure it's a redstone torch, really important. Then we place some redstone over there, and a repeater over there, pull it all the way back. And just make sure that you turn off this thing. Oh, it's already off. Uh, let's just put it on then. Is that, is that how it works? Yeah, it probably will be. Okay, because then uh, we don't have this whole uh, redstone uh, in the way over here. So that's if it's right now uh, turned on. If you turn the machine on. Yeah, machine is on, which means this is going to be on and this is going to be off. If it's right. Uh, yeah, that's, that's just how it goes. So then we place some redstone over there. And we place. On this side, which goes to the red side, we gotta place six repeaters. Is that six? No, it's five. Six. And on this side, which goes to the green side, it will be five. Like that. And you, of course, trigger them all the way back. That's yeah, not even going that bad, by the way. I thought it would be way worse. Which yeah, the hard part comes, which is the music box. Uh, yeah, like so. And then it's time for the yeah for another annoying hard thing. As you can see, if it's right, yeah, if we go to this box over here, and we place our block over there, it will be just like this, so let's repeat it, uh, I mean, connect it with some redstone. We also gotta place one over here, like so, and that one should go all the way to over there, like so. Uh, then we do the same thing over here, so at the bottom of your box you gotta place a block, Redstone all the way to the other side, which is somewhere around here. There we go. Like this. And then we place some torches on top of it. And now we actually gotta break something open. Now, yeah, now the annoying thing is going to come. So we get ourselves a sticky piston. Um, as well as a block of wool. And we will change the block of wool later on. But for now, it's just this. Then what we do. Um, what should we break open? Let's just break open one of these blocks over here. Place the torch down. Oh, oops, what's that? Oh, oh man, serious. Wait a second. There we go. Place the torch. And what we do then is we place the piston. No, the piston should be right over there, like this. And then if we go, no, I think it's smarter to start off. Okay, so over here, oh man, 
At this green side, you gotta place a block with a redstone torch. And then above that torch, you gotta oops, place a piston, which faces up, of course. There we go. I will uh, fix the grass later on. First, we're doing it this side as well. So over here, at that, oh, at that little, little um, red part, you gotta place a block. This red thing. Torch above it. And then a piston above that. Like that. And we also do it on the other side. Yeah, that's actually on each side of course. So, um, block over there. Torch on top of it. Stick a piston on top of that. There go. And also on this side, you gotta do the exact same thing. Which is of quartz. And you block. Torch on top of it and a piston on top of that. There we go. So that's, uh, yeah, that's nice. I like it. And now we gotta go back. And as you can see, the block is right over there. If it's over here, uh, yeah, you have a big problem. It should be over there, like so. So what we do then, um, oh, we actually gotta break over something else as well. So we place one block over there, like so, right above this torch. And then we place this torch over there. And if it's right, it should be turned off, like so. Uh, then you can place back your wool. Luckily, I already have some white wool on me. So then we also do it on this side. Place our block. Torch on top of it. And back. There we go. Also over here. And of course on each side. So that block over there. Torch over there. Turned off. Perfect. So and one more side. Um, yeah, just with quartz block. Torch on top of it. There we go. And place back the wall. Okay, so now that we've got that, um, if it's right, the piston will now be. Um, what does it say? It says on. Is it on? Because otherwise, you have kind of a trouble. Yeah, it is on. That's nice. So now you get your grass. You can get rid of a few blocks. Replace the grass and. Um, yeah, on top of the sticky piston, you gotta place the yeah the wool, which is the color of your box. As you can see, this is green. Over here, it will be red. Like this. Place your grass. Over here, oh, oops. Over here is going to be blue. So let's place the blue. And over here is going to be yellow, like that. Uh, then we get ourselves a few note blocks. As well as a uh, random block. I already have this chiseled quartz block. And then we gotta go back to the redstone. And how does it. Yeah, let's just turn the uh, machine off as well, by the way. Off. There we go. As you can see, this will now be turned on. There we go. And that one will be turned off. Which means, uh, yeah, the pistons are now back in their thing. In their. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> never mind. The pistons will now be not be pulled out anymore. So, uh. So far, it's, uh, it went pretty good. Now the last part comes, which is the no plugs. Still gonna take uh, quite a lot of time. So let's get started. Let me just check where the exact need to go. Okay. So we start over here. And we place one, two, three, four, five. No blocks over there. With repeaters in between them. There we go. Make sure you don't uh, trigger any of those no blocks. If you do, whoops, accident. You better get rid of it and place it again, because otherwise you can uh, yeah, get some big troubles. Okay, so we place one over here as well, one over here, one over here, one over here, and one over there. And then we place some more repeaters between them. There we go. Then we place them along this line, like that. Uh, place some redstone repeaters between them. Like so let me just check if this is right. Yeah, okay, it's right. Repeat over there. One, two, three, four. Like so. Place the repeaters in between. Repeat over there. One, two, three, four. Place your repeaters over there. There we go. And then one more over here. And oh, oops, that's the last one. So let me just do some quick explanations. Over there. Uh, no, we actually should go. Uh, back to the game, Stampy also already explained it in his Rubik's Cube game, but I'm just going to do it as well. Uh, as soon as you've built all the way over here, 
you will uh, yeah, press this button and activate the dispenser. Make sure, by the way, throw something in the dispenser. Uh, I'm thinking about it. Let's just uh, throw in a lot of gold. There we go. As soon as you press this button, um, yeah, it will dispense the gold, which goes all the way uh, through that pipe. And it will land on this pressure plate. Then the pressure plate activ activates the redstone, which goes all the way to here. And then that little thing over here will ex um, activate all of these note blocks. And that will uh, yeah, make a very quick sound, which means you have one. And uh, yeah, that's basically for each pipe. Let me just fill them all up from the inside. Okay, I literally don't see anything. Ooh, that was right. So 16 in there. Look, as you can see, it activates all of these note blocks very quickly. Um, as soon as you stand on it, let me show it again. That's yeah, and that's uh, going to play the sounds that you have won. And for some reason, my Minecraft once again doesn't show any sounds, but I will just show you how it, uh, yeah, how it will uh, go anyway. Although I don't have any sounds, because it's really simple, but it's uh, a bit annoying as well. So there, oh, I can see the dispenser, but it, I destroyed it. <laughs> there was a bed in front of it, and I tried to kill it, but I broke the dispenser. Now I cannot place it back anymore. What is that? What's going on? You stupid little bats. Go away. There we go. I never saw the point of bats in Minecraft. They don't even drop anything. Really annoying. But yeah. Wait a second. Did it activate or not? Oh yeah, it did. Okay. So let me clear my inventory. And what we gotta do now? Uh, we gotta follow this whole... Um, yeah, this whole pattern of the note blocks. I will basically do like we press this one once, this one two times, this one three times, this one four times, and each block will be um, yeah hit uh, more, 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 more times. And in the end, you will probably end up somewhere around 21 over here or 22, something like that. Uh, but yeah, this is one, two, three, four, five times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you gotta do that all the way until you're over there. And as soon as you're over here, <coughs> uh, yeah, each stone will basically go uh, higher and higher. And that will play the sound that you finish the, uh, yeah, the game. So, um, yeah, I don't see the point of, it, of me doing it because it takes a lot of time and I don't have any sounds anyway. So you won't see how it goes. And I think you guys know what to do because I just explained it. Uh, but yeah, as soon as that's done, you can, by the way, also make your own sound, of course, if you want. Uh, but yeah, as soon as that's done, you're done with this whole tutorial. Let me just place the torch down to make it a little bit more lighten up. There we go. Let me just quickly check if everything works fine. So, let's uh, put the game on. There we go. Quickly go into one of my boxes. <coughs> Green one. Wait a few seconds. <coughs> and there we go. It works fine. So, imagine that I will build all the way to over here. Quickly press the dispenser. Yeah, and it doesn't work anyway because I don't have any sounds on. Don't know why they don't play off, but... Uh, yeah, this will probably work. Let's just imagine... Yeah, there, I can see a gold block. It touched this little thing over here. Let's try again. It touched it, and you will see... Nothing, let me say. Why does it not work? Over here, the redstone seems to stop. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. So what do you do then? Well, you get a redstone repeater, probably for cut a block or something. There we go, and it works. Yeah, so you gotta place a repeater over there, and I believe it will be the same over here as well then. So let's just throw this repeater over here. Uh, oh wait, I already get why it doesn't work, because this block is over there. So let me just clean everything up a little bit. There we go, wait for everything to go up. Throw my block, and there we go. You will see that it plays the sound. So that's it. Let's also check it for these two um, parts over here. Oh, and of course, need to get rid of my block over here. So let's try it for this one as well. This one will probably work anyway because it's really close to the redstone. There we go. That plays off as well. And then this one is the closest, so this one will work for sure. There we go. It plays off. So uh, yeah, that's. This tutorial, the redstone tutorial, we actually already finished the whole cube, which is nice of course. But we didn't do that thing over there yet, which comes in the next episode. It's really simple and quick. Um, yeah, if, if you 
yeah, if you just can't wait for the next tutorial, I will just show you how this redstone goes and you can try to make it yourself or something. But um, yeah, I would not suggest, I would just suggest you, uh, of course, to check the tutorial because that's, uh, then you know that you exactly do it right. So yeah, this was the third part. I hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys in the last part very soon. Later.